Because I feel like a lot of people got misunderstood with that one, right? Right. Like, the first thing was... So, because we're stalkers... When I right. was when I was talking about dying in the bar, I often referred to how bandits would kill us. And then people assumed that I was saying that this is only a stalker problem. When it's an entire game problem. Of course, bandits are going through the exact same thing when stalkers decide to grief bandits. But, I would add to that, like, the fact that the map is very heavily in favor of the bandits right from the start. Like... Their travel to get to zones is much like better. Like, for example, the entrance of the dump is right next to the bandit base. And then Agropron yeah. it's not... is also it's next to it. Is. It is. The bandit base is literally right next to the middle. It's not that far. Like, if you look where our base is and you look where their base is, you can see a blatant advantage to being a bandit here. What he's saying is getting from the cordon straight to the dump. Literally, look at the. Oh yeah, the, yeah, 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 yeah. Like they're much closer, yeah. so they can just get here. If you're if you're a stalker, you have to run all the way through Dark Valley to just come yeah. up here, and then you're still most likely going to get killed by a by a bandit. And if you think yeah. it stops there, it doesn't. Look at the bar, right? They can just go into the dump from the bar at the same point that we can, so they can just fight that, contest that, and get straight into the forest. Well, look where we have to go. We have to go down and all the way down to here if we wanted to do that. Or we have to make it all the way across or all the way across. So there is a blatant advantage, like map advantage for bandits. That was the point that I was making. Like it is objective. It's not subjective, right? It is objective. objective. You can yeah. clearly see an advantage, right? Does that ruin the game? Not for me. Know. But it does make it much harder for any stalkers that are trying to play the game. So you can't just go, oh, it's a skill issue to someone that's clearly playing at a dis like disadvantage rather than actually work on, you know, real suggestions that could help. The other thing I wanted to touch on was I said that being spawn trapped in the bar sucks, right? That is still right. the fact. That sucks. But I do yeah. understand why people are doing it, okay? Unfortunately, you need to get pickles, yeah. right? Yeah. You need to get pickles. And unfortunately, that means going to the enemy side most of the time to get camps, which often means you run in and you end up killing the opposing side. Bandits kill stalkers, yeah. stalkers kill bandits. Unfortunately, that's what happens. Now, because that's in the game, I'm not saying just abolish it, but... For the, the way that I would fix this is if someone's doing a story quest, give them immunity right. in the bar. Let them get out of the bar, right? If they're doing a story quest, give them the option to opt in to have PvP off so they can get out of the bar, right? Like they can't do damage to enemies and enemies can't do damage to them. That way they can get out the bar and continue their story. Because the main thing that annoyed me was when I was trying to do the story, there was no stalkers in the bar, right? It was only right. bandits. We were trapped there for an hour just trying to get out. And I've got a clip somewhere, which I don't think I can... I'm probably not going to be able to find. But I killed five bandits in, like, this little, like, cubby bit here. I killed five bandits, went to run up to the forest, and then died right before getting to the forest by a bandit. And you really think I want to keep playing the game at that point when all I'm trying to do is the story. And... That's what I'm saying. Like, people just keep going, oh, well, the game's meant to have constant PvP. Well, I'm completely fine with that. But the issue is this is, a me this is meant to be a safe space. And a lot of people are quitting the game. Like, you just have, again, look at the reviews. You're losing players because of yep. this. Just this. Most of the people are fine with the open PvP, but it gets considerably worse in the bar. So I would recommend that something's changed about that to stop people from leaving the game because the game is generally really good. You can get used to the PvP. Once you get to the warehouse and you pick a sub-faction, I would argue that the PvP is more balanced out, right? The map is different, okay? There's a lot more space. Yeah. You can't just run straight. Like, people have tried it, like, running straight at the duty base. It normally doesn't do anything. You'll die... But you'll instantly get your stuff back because about five people will just run out and kill them. So, like, you have yeah. to play more safe and more careful.
Same with the end, like the end game zones. The maps are better. Just the bar area itself sucks for PvP. And it's kind of forced upon you because you need pickles. And I feel like that is generally driving more people away than it's actually keeping. But my promise is that if you get past the bar and you, you know, you finish the story, you manage to farm the graveyard or the dead city, you get better gear and you're able to progress, you know, you get bar level seven and you can get to a sub faction. The game gets 10 times better in my opinion. Like it goes from being this annoying grief fest to becoming an actual open world MMO, like PVP, PVE. I do, yeah. like I stated in my first video, I do not think PVE servers would be a good idea. Because as, like, someone attacked me for this, right? They said, you're literally right. complaining about PvP in a pvp oriented game. And I'm like, no, I'm literally complaining about the spawn trapping and the unfairness of the map. And I'm saying that people are leaving because of it. I even stated in the video that I like the game and that I'm happily to progress through this, which I have done, and now I like the game. You know, I'm like, my KD's not shit. I don't die as much as I kill. I kill more people than I die. So at the end of the day, I don't have a trouble. Like the other day, I managed to farm up loads of resources, died and lost them all. And I didn't even bat an eye. I just went out and continued again because I'm enjoying the game. I'm just not enjoying spawning and dying in the bar. Because it's still currently annoying to join a sub faction and get killed by a freedom member at the entrance of the bar. That's another thing that annoys me. It sucks. It might make me take a break, but I probably wouldn't quit over it unless it was happening every single time. Like, it was impossible to get into the bar. But, like, that right. was my main point, though. It, like, the bar in, in general just isn't fun because it's kind of like... It's the middle of the game, right? You've just progressed through... You've just progressed through the tutorial. You've just got through the cordon. And then you get to this area, and now you're just stuck... You're just forced into constant PvP. And what's worse for stalkers is, again, I know that it probably happens to bandits, but the forest and graveyard is just flooded with bandits nearly all the time. One point I want to make. Notice how for them, if they go to the duty, to the dump, they have an immediate entrance to our forest. For us to go to their pit, yeah. we either have to go to their side of the bar or to the freaking yeah, dump all that, the way and just... I already made that point, though. I did I did say it. Like, yeah, it's fine. like we, we fight here... But it's the right. same, it's pretty much the same distance to get to this, like the dump bar area to the forest for both sides. Like they have to walk a few extra meters and then go through this. And most people that are in the stalker faction are using the entrance up top because they don't yeah. want to go down here and get killed. There's more, there's a higher chance of them being killed taking this bottom route than there is just going across the train tracks. But the amount, like, the thing that was annoying me was I couldn't get into the forest for, like, two hours. I was trying to get, like, uh, the beta data fragments for hours. Beta data. And I couldn't get a single one because I get to the graveyard and I die. But now I'm in the duty, like, now that I'm bar seven and I've got to the duty base, I can get into the graveyard easy. And in all fairness, you probably do have a better chance still, like, you probably... You probably still have a better chance of just going up past the duty base anyway and farming the graveyard from up here than you do down here. Because like I said, the bandits that are griefing tend to take this route into the forest and just massacre everyone on their way and just get into the graveyard. I think I've only died at the top of the graveyard once to a bandit and then twice to a freedom member. That's about it. I guess the only suggestion left is... Uh... If you are getting frustrated with the game, just take a break. I, like, yep. I feel like that's the best advice anyone can give you. If you're just running out and dying for two hours straight and you're getting angry that you can't farm, it, just take a break. That's really all you can can do. If you're getting frustrated with anything, just take a break. Yeah, it's with every... It's with every I'd, apply it. I'd apply that to every single game. Don't try to force it. Um... For example, if you're farming graveyard and you keep dying, go farm something else. Like, something that I did was, rather than farming the resources, I went off and farmed other resources, made money from selling, you know, the junk you get from, like, mutants and stuff, and then I used right. that money to buy the resources that I couldn't get. Obviously, I had a lot of help from Gamer and a guy called Swe uh, Sweats, who sent me 500k. <laughs> that was mm -hmm. after I got to duty. Just saying. Right. But, yeah.
It's just take breaks. The map is objectively bandit beneficial. Yeah. Bandit which, sided. Which does suck. But all I can promise is the game gets much better when you get past bar seven. Still annoying, don't get me wrong. Like, it's really annoying to... You know, it's annoying in any game to be beat by someone. So, yep. it's always gonna be annoying. But I do promise it gets better. The grinding does not get better, it gets worse. Uh, the game is very, very grindy. So, if you're not ready to grind, then this just won't be the game for you anyway. But the one thing I do hate is when people bring up legitimate complaints... And then people just reply going, Care Bears, skill issue, why complain? Well, for that logic to happen, there are more people that complain because they're just not having fun about one thing than there are people that are going skill issue. So if it goes that way, you'll end up with 200 people that are toxic as hell going skill issue, Care Bears and all this. And then you'll lose, you know, the other thousands of people that are, you know, not enjoying the game. That's why people complain. If it's yes. a big enough problem, it will get changed. If it's not, it won't. But I feel like a lot of the people that genuinely are upset about the bar situation and think it's ruining their experience, they're most likely not going to play the game much longer anyway. They're going to be gone. So maybe it needs to be addressed. Maybe it doesn't. But personally, I enjoy the PvP a lot. I didn't enjoy being spawn trapped, but... I also now realize it's almost impossible to get pickles without killing an opponent. Like, yep. I've walked into there and tried not killing anyone. I just get killed by bandits. So I preemptively kill the bandits that are, you know, near me to make sure they don't kill me. You know, if I've got 200 pickles on me, I don't want to get killed by a bandit. I'm going to drop that yep. bandit before they realize I'm there. Because I saw a guy go, do you do anything other than that? And I'm like, oh, yeah, I just needed pickles. Like, I... I hate the game not me like it really is unfortunate because i also hate like i feel like a hypocrite when i have to get pickles right because i don't like the fact that i get spawn like spawn camp but i need pickles so it's not necessarily people are spawn camp like they're not killing you in the bar necessarily i, I want to quote like on purpose it's more of they're trying to get an item and they can't they're get trying it to do they, their farming. yeah and they can't do it without being there or they have to, like, for pickles, you can do deliveries and quests. I recommend you do them. It's actually probably faster. But it's, it's pretty much unavoidable. I, I'm hoping that clans and factions, like, clans and factions should bring out all the sweats up top anyway. Like, it will bring them out of these zones. And then maybe it gets a little bit easier for the story. Uh, I'm wondering what they're going to do with the monetization as well, but for another day yeah i'm really enjoying stolecraft and i hope that it doesn't die yes also Wait. don't bug kid <laughs> yeah don't exploit <laughs> don't use glow exploits honestly i'm surprised glow, you said glow, that glow you were you surprised much. you said you were enjoying it didn't you want to quit like yesterday and the day before and the day before that haven't you wanted to quit I, this game for like the last week? <laughs> I'm enjoying the game. I'm not enjoying the players. <laughs> yeah, it's a fair okay, assumption. I, I have, I have, I hate the grind because I get killed. I love to go out and just kill people. Not go into their bases and kill people. Just go to the middle area where everyone just has a, has the good old fight. Yeah, I mean PvP is is fun. It's just it's just getting the gear to really compete. It's a lot. It's yeah. a very long process. Like getting this legionnaire armor is probably going to take me two days, in the gameplay time I have. But once I get it done, I'm going to have a lot of bullet resistance. I just use the quest items at this point. And then yeah. die two VSS all the time. Well, we'll see. 